In 2020, two things went viral. One was COVID, and the other were the videos of George Floyd being killed in America, which sparked Black Lives Matter, uh, which sought to highlight racial inequality. The connection between those two things is that non-white people, minorities in Britain, have been disproportionately affected by COVID. Uh, and the challenge that we have is to find out why. So there are different types of stresses and there's a, a much more complex uh, cocktail of stresses that are impacting upon black and minority ethnic communities. And we want to help the government to understand this so that the government can develop policies that are appropriate to supporting these communities and ensuring that social cohesion doesn't fall apart as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. I feel very passionate about conducting this project because I feel passionate about developing and implementing the use of online interventions to address the psychological needs of those who are most in need of psychological support. Our project's important because it's trying to look at some of the root causes of social exclusion when we talk about Muslim communities and particularly around COVID-19. Uh, we hope that our research will shed light on some of those stories uh, some of the everyday experiences that people are suffering uh, and, and what types of coping methods they're using, the nature of the type of impacts that COVID-19 has had on them and their families. Um, so we really hope the research is able to shed light on some of those things and connect some of the dots. This research is going to look into the detail of people's lives to see the impact of COVID and the lockdown on other aspects of their lives in terms of their access to education, to employment, to healthcare, housing, and really understand how we can address those racial and ethnic inequalities. The virus isn't disproportionately affecting minorities because they're minorities, but because they're concentrated in certain situations, more likely to live in cramped housing, more likely to have to work, more likely to be poor. It's not the virus that discriminates, it's society.